Well, kia ora everybody, you're on Damon Summerfield's farm, and look, we've even got the gummies on to prove it. Now Damon, your farm's sort of in between Sheffield and Darfield, and hey, I've got to say, Summerfield, pretty good name for a farmer. It is, it is. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> hey, just by the way, what, what crop can we see behind us here that you've got planters? Okay, this is this is kale. Yep. Um, it's similar to, to the type of kale that, that uh, humans eat, uh, but this... In this case, this is for stock feed for, for the winter. So um, this winter, cows will come here and eat this. Uh, last year, I had lambs eating this type of crop in a, in a different area. What um, else do you grow on your farm? Well, Andrew, we, we rotate the crops. So yeah. we, we don't grow the same thing every year. So we okay. put, I grow four or five different crops in each, in a, over a five-year period. Yep. And um, so this, this was in, in grass the, last year, and now it's in kale. And um, so I've got some other paddocks around the farm, which we've got some, some lambs on at the moment that are grass paddocks, which I've grown for grass seed. And then we also grow um, cereals, um, wheat and barley. Uh, in my case this year, I grew milling wheat, which is made for flour. So hopefully if it meets specifications and it's the quality is good enough, it, it will go to Christchurch and um, one of the companies in Christchurch will, will convert it into flour for bread for South Island supermarkets to supply humans. I can see you've got some irrigators on the farm, but you haven't always irrigated. In fact, Damon said you've only been irrigating for two years. How has irrigation changed the way you farm? Um, yeah, that's correct, Andrew. I've been irrigating for two years, uh, two seasons, um, and they've been completely different seasons. Um, and I'm learning all the time and it's been a, a huge change the main difference that irrigation has made to to what i do is i have more certainty over yield and i have more certainty that i can get a certain crop to to the end i can grow what i'm contracted to grow another reason uh, that irrigation has been so beneficial is that i can have the plants in the ground for a shorter period of time right so because i can put in spring sown crops um, and guarantee water through irrigation, I don't have to put crops in, in the autumn. Um, so I could only grow one crop a year in, as a dryland farmer, uh, a dryland right. farmer being a farmer that has no irrigation yep. and just relies on, on the weather. Whereas with irrigation, I can be certain of a certain amount of water and I can grow crops in a shorter period of time. It, it allows us to, to get contracts with different companies for different products. And one of the... Um, Interesting ones is uh, brassicas. This kale is a brassica, um, and if we left it, it would come out to seed, and we could harvest that seed. But in the in the paddock behind us here, um, we had a chrysanthemum plant, and I had some cabbage and some chard this year, and, and and last year I had a mustard seed. Now all of these are seed multiplication contracts, so they give me a small amount of seed, and I give them back a large amount of seed, and I get paid on the tonnage that I supply. Well, it sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward, because Damon is about to show us how his irrigation system actually works. But thanks, Damon. My pleasure.